We consume a lot of content and that comes in many ways. There's books, newsletters, websites, YouTube, it just keeps coming. So I do have some apps that I use to keep this under control. And the first one, and probably the most important one actually, is a Read Later app. So I use Instapaper. There's certainly other apps out there and it's worth looking to find one that fits into your app stack. But for me, Instapaper is everything that I need. It's free, so that's something that I like. And it's just got a really nice clean look about it. So the way that I use it is you can see his content that I have sent to Instapaper previously. And what I do is as I get emails coming in to my inbox, like this one, an ICB member newsletter, I just forward it to the Instapaper email address. And that way, when I'm looking through my inbox and trying to clean that up, I don't actually read the newsletters as I go. So I get obviously from zero product updates, ICB member newsletters, I get them from the Tax Practitioners Board. I just forward them into Instapaper and then when I have time to sit down and actually read, that's when I, I go through this list. And I really have a nice curated list of reading that is relevant to me because I have you know, sent all of this information here. So let me just show you an ICB member newsletter. It comes in, it looks like this. So when you pull this up on an iPad or on your phone, it's just a really nice clean look. There's no ads, it's great. So the other thing that I do apart from forwarding content from my inbox into Instapaper is Google News. So I flick through this every morning. I don't, I don't read through each of the articles. I don't even read the articles that interest me. I just have a quick look through to see what's happening. And then anything that I would be interested in reading about, I send into Instapaper. So let me just have a quick look through here. Um, here's one on Google Maps. So I pull that up and then I've got a browser extension. So if I just click on here, it saves it. And I'll come back to Instapaper and show you what that looks like. If I click on that, you'll see it's a really nice, again, clean look. It's, it's cut out all the ads. And the last way is just with websites. So as you go about your day, obviously you come across different things that are of interest just in generally doing clients work, you, you come across different things. So you can, instead of stopping what you're doing or interrupting your day, if you just save it to Instapaper and then continue on, it just, it just makes you more productive. So again, using the browser extension, I just click on there. And then when I'm sitting down with a cuppa, ready to look through all of the information that I wanted to read, I've got it all there ready for me. So here it is, it's come in here. And if I click on it, again, nice, clean look to read through. I do have some folders here. So these three are actually reminders to myself not to save things here. So I've got recipes. I don't save recipes in Instapaper. Sometimes I do forward them in here, but yeah, I save them somewhere else. So um, property ideas and references I save to Notability. So uh, these are really just reminders to myself, but then I do have these areas where if I come across something that I might want to reference later, I can just drag it over here. So what I tend to do is, like with this ICB member newsletter, once I've read it, I generally archive it. I don't keep everything forever. I just find that that just clutters things up, but if this has got something in it that I do have an interest in that I do want to come back to at some stage, I will just drag it over into this folder. And so eventually, well, it doesn't happen actually, eventually this whole list should be gone as I read through it all, it doesn't happen. But I've always got something there ready to read and I know that I'm interested in it because I've put it there.